Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Trickity. And yes, guys, this is another amazing edition of Wake Up With Tricket. And I hope everybody is doing exceptionally well today. <laughs> wherever you're at in the world, wherever you are at in the world, I hope you're doing extremely well. So with that being said, guys, if this is your first time coming across my page, I hope you stay for a long time and not a short time. If you resonate with my page, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button and join the family where you are going to grow <laughs> because we're going to grow together here. And um, also, uh, if you are a new subscriber, and then welcome. <laughs> I hope you also uh, stay for a long time and not a short time. And if you are my OGs, my A1s from day ones, you know how I love loyalty. So thank you for uh, sticking with me from day one and uh, still here with me now. So <laughs> with that being said, guys, um, let's just jump right into it. I want to talk to you guys about... Um, <clears throat> Like you've heard the term spiritual warfare. And, you know, some of us to a certain degree may know what that means. But <clears throat> spiritual warfare is very real. And what comes along with spiritual warfare, what you normally do not hear about, is the black magic and... um the, the witchcraft that is attached to it. That's why it's spiritual warfare in the first place, because you're fighting something, first of all, you can't see, and uh, it is attacking you. And so, you know, you're, if you know how to combat it, then you're fighting back in the spirit. But if you don't, and then in most cases, you're a sitting duck. Unless you have, you know, someone else praying for you or something and their prayers are heard and answered. Um, but outside of that, if you don't know how to com combat it, I don't know how you expect to win, right? So spiritual warfare is very real. And so, um, What was I going to say here, guys? <laughs> so anyway, it's very real. And witchcraft is attached to it. So if you don't know the signs of witchcraft, and then you'll just think you're having a bad day. It's one of those moments, whatever the case may be, right? But you won't be right because it won't be any of those. It'll be someone doing some spell work on you intention, intentionally, or they'll just be doing it without knowing it. For instance, say you have three, four people all talking about one person negative. Well, that's witchcraft because everything is energy. So energy always goes out, right? So good or bad, it never is destroyed. It's just always displaced, right? It's placed here, it's placed there, but it's placed somewhere. <clears throat> so when they're saying your name and they're all talking about you in a negative way, well, you know, your ears may ring or, you know, you might just think it's one of those whatever, but, you know, your energy may, may start to drop. You know, they're sucking off of you, draining your energy, trying to be you, some of them trying to imitate you. All that's witchcraft whether they know it or not. They just may think, no, I'm just, you know, trying to be like this person or I'm just, it's all a part of witchcraft because they're taking on your energy. And then you start to feel drained and tired throughout the day when you were just fine like an hour ago. So you have to understand the, um, the effects, the symptoms. Yeah, you gotta know the symptoms. You know, they like, you know, everybody's on symptoms, you know, like when there was the flu and the cold and all everybody, you know, well, what are your symptoms? What are your symptoms? Well, you have to know the symptoms in this. It's a spiritual warfare. What do you think you're fighting? <laughs> it's spiritual warfare. You know what I mean? So you're fighting the darkness. 
And so um, you need to know how to protect yourself in that area because it's different than just saying a prayer and you're done. If it was that easy, and then, I mean, come on now. <laughs> we wouldn't have the issues we have now. We have churches and institutions and people holding hands, kumbaya and that ain't even stopped it, right? So we know that's not going to be enough. If it was, you wouldn't be having pastors and church members and people going to their institutions with firearms. What about God? Well, they say, well, common sense. Well, now it's common sense when you need something to back your fear or your belief. Either one, pick one. <laughs> so I'm not saying right or wrong. I'm, you know, do whatever you do. <laughs> you know, um, I'm just saying whatever you do, just stand on it. You know, you know how they say stand on business, just stand on it. So um, and then just keep moving. But I'm just saying people are protecting themselves with other things all day. Like I mentioned, the firearm. And that's in church for a lot of people where they're praying and saying this is like where God lives. But they're like, look, we've seen some people pass away up in here. And it wasn't from natural causes. It was from somebody, you know, opening up fire or doing something like that. So, you know, they're like God and all that. Yeah, but there's a but. <laughs> yeah, but. <laughs> I hear you, but. <laughs> yeah, we pray, but. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So, you know, um, they're finding other ways to protect themselves, right? And rightfully so. So I'm saying you ought to, you too ought to find other ways to protect yourself and to know when there's any type of negative energy being thrown your way. Whatever negative energy that is, because negative energy is still negative energy, I mean, really, you know what I'm saying? It's still negative energy. It's still something you don't want. You don't want, I don't want, none of us want. <laughs> so you got to learn how to protect yourself from that negative energy because, you know, unfortunately, <clears throat> unfortunately, not everybody likes us, right? <laughs> and so, um, you know, you're going to have some negative energy being thrown your way. And you might just chalk it up to a bad day. And that's not what it is. You can get rid of it when you know what it is and you identify it. And you can get that energy of yours right back. And within the next hour or so, or even quicker than that, depending on how fast you can transition to the next level of that higher frequency, you, you can already be, you know, walking on sunshine again, laughing and, and going along your merry way. So I'm just saying, um, you know, this is something that needs to be taught because this stuff right here, this black magic, what people don't know is that people are using this in the court system. People are using this to slow down cases. People are, are using this on the judge, on the jury. <laughs> People don't think it's real. So it's like, keep not thinking it's real so we can keep getting away. People are using this to commit murder to unalive people so they um, can file uh, life insurance on them, then do some voodoo work or hoodoo or whatever you know, on them, some black magic and make it look like they died from natural causes and they had a heart attack or whatever the case may be. And they collect and they just keep doing this because there's there's no hands on physical proof. This is like the new way of warfare. But it's not really new because it's been around for a long time. But it's new to a lot of us because a lot of us are just waking up to it in this decade. So, with that being said, it's being used in the judicial system against the judicial system, and they don't even know it unless they know about it. They'll just think, oh, you know, I, I forgot to do this, or oh, this, or oh, that. And it'll be spell work. 
slowing down the case. Spell work making you forget. Spell work making you sick because so you can't work on the case. I mean, this thing goes, goes, and goes, guys. <laughs> so anyway, that's about it. I'm Trickett. This is Wake Up With Trickett. Just want to let you know that spiritual warfare is real and black magic and all that negative energy is also real. And it doesn't matter. Like I said, if people are just talking negative about you in a group, then that's all that energy going out to you because they're mentioning your name. And yes, it works the same if it's uh, if you're speaking positive as well, too. That's why affirmations work to say positive things about yourself. And with that being said, I'm Trickett. This is Wake Up with Trickett. You guys are all amazing. There goes something right there positive said about yourself. And uh, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Take care. <laughs>